What's up, my beloved? You guys, today I am doing. I'm going to try the first time to try to deep fry some lobster tails. Look at this bad boy. Look how big this joker is. That is a big lobster tail. Yeah. <laughs> that bad boy probably like 10 pounds. So I got four of them here. And I'm going to deep fry them. I'm just going to show you how I deep fry them. I know y'all. I'm sure y'all seen a lot of things on how to deep fry um lobster tails but i'm going to show you what i do so i'm gonna say i'll say I show you what i do as if i did this before i ain't never done this before y'all but i know i've seen tutorials and i know you have to cut it down the middle so we are cracking this oh this is hard to crack There we go. And we're cracking it all the way to the tail, y'all. This is a big boy. So this one. Need my husband's strength. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, y'all. We're almost there. Just a little more. Yep. Yep. Can you just do this to that? Right? We're going to stop right there. There we go. Now. So now, y'all. Y'all see that I cracked it all the way in the middle. So now I'm going to separate this meat and it's going to separate itself this is a big big boy whoa who gonna get this one daddy-o no, that's me right there you that ain't you me. it's gonna be the queen on that one mm -hmm. oh y'all look at that just eating that makes me want to eat like, whew. Look at that, y'all. We finna fry that bad boy. Whoo, whoo. Let's make sure all that meat gonna get fried. Whoo, there we go. So now, whew. This one, where is the, guess we got all the stuff out already. So, we're going to do like the other one, y'all. And we are going to score it. This going to be tender. But I don't, I'm not going to cook these long. Ooh. That's going to be a bad boy. This thing going to have to fry by itself. So, I scored it, y'all. You score it, and then we're going to fry that one. Oh, this one needs to be divine. I'm sure the other ones didn't, right? Let me make sure. See that? I see something right there. I don't want nothing in my stuff. Shoot, y'all know me. I don't know y'all, but I do know me. Yeah, that one needs to be. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that right there. Nope. We sure ain't. Actually, y'all, I'm going I'm to rinse mine off after this because we don't do nothing. What is that? Can't have it. It may be a piece of meat, but okay. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to score this. Okay, we got three big ones. So what I'm going to do, y'all, now, I'm going to try to rinse some of these off. Just rinse off with cold water. That's just me. And then, what is that? Oh, no, that ain't nothing. Okay, and then I'm going to be back. Season all of these. So I'm going to season a little bit of accent. 
To each his own. Y'all don't have to do it this way. Did y'all see that? Um, I have a, some garlic powder. I don't like seasoning my um, cornmeal. I'm going to put this in some cornmeal. I don't have to have a lot of seasoning on it. I'm going to use some lemon, white pepper. White pepper, y'all. White pepper. I'm going to use some seasoned pepper. Pull this bad boy. This bad boy is so big. Shoot. I don't even know I can get it all around it. Then I'm going to use some, some hot picante pepper, some adobe, just some spices. Jeez Louise. <coughs> Onion powder. Y'all, I'm turning my head while I'm coughing, so don't y'all come for me. Now, I ain't going to use no black pepper. And I'm not going to use this one. I'm going to use some lemon pepper. I'm not going to use no season of salt because I have to season pepper. Lemon pepper. And then I'm going to use some, yep, y'all, basil. Y'all think I'm crazy, but I'm not. I like the basil. Okay, so I use all the seasons that I want to use. Those are my seasoning that I chose. You can choose whatever seasonings you want to choose. Don't matter. I like a lot of flavor in my food, and my family does do too, so to each his own. Okay, so now I'll be back. I'm going to have some cornmeal right here. Okay, guys, I'm back. So what I'm doing is you don't have to have my face serious. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to coat these. These have been sitting... Have them sitting for about a half hour, and these are how they look. So I'm gonna coat this in some cornmeal, just some, some yellow cornmeal, like this. You can coat it whatever you want to coat it. Maybe you want to coat yours in flour. It's okay, but we're coating ours in cornmeal. What'd you say that? Mm -hmm. I can hear you. I just like mine's crunchy. I hear my stuff over there. Oh. Looks like a nice garnish or something. What? It looks like a nice um Nice tree garnish. What this? Yeah. Maybe. Just trying to make it seem better. Great. No, it's great. Oh, do you have to do all of them? Or yeah. On camera. So on. you guys, listen. No, you don't have to do stopping now. So guys, you see, this is what I'm doing. I'm deep frying this. Let me just show you how the ones came out that I just deep fried. The two that I just deep fried came out like this. You guys, this is all, you can use whatever you want to use. You want to use the flour, use the, you can use cornmeal. I use cornmeal. I think it came out good. 